Hey guys, Champion Productions here coming back at you with another Transformers video review and in today's video I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Voyager class bulkhead. Now setting the figure off to the side so we can take a look at the packaging. <laughs> the packaging for this guy, again, the windowless packaging situation where it doesn't have a plastic window is getting out of hand. So in my previous video, I talked about how windowless packaging on store shelves might be a problem. Well, there's a ton of legacy bulkheads here. This one right here, I believe it was this one. Yeah, someone tried to cut the accessory bit out of it, and I'm pretty sure was trying to steal this. And then this one, flat out, had his head pushed in. So, yeah, we're off to a great start. But anyway, all that set aside, the artwork and everything for the box looks nice. You know, you got a picture of the truck mode, you got a picture of Bulkhead here on the side right here, and you got a picture of Bulkhead right here with his Gatling going, you just... <laughs> Legacy on this side, you get the box art and everything, which looks incredibly nice. And then you got Legacy there on the front and on the back of the box. We got all the promotional images and stuff. You got Bulkhead in his robot mode, his truck mode, the 30-step conversion thing. And then on the side, you got the little um, QR code scanner, which presents all of his different stats and whatnot. So overall, very nice packaging. Um, for his accessories, he does come with a couple things. He does come with his um, little wrecking ball thing here. Um, we can see it's been molded very nicely, been painted in silver. So... Some nice detail on that. And he does come with a clear kind of Energon themed esque Gatling gun, which is, again has been painted with some silver. Very nice. I like the details on it. All the little barrels and whatnot. So there you have that. He does come with warning sheet, yay. And then the new legacy instructions, which are nice and bright so you can see what you're doing. So very nice. And here we have Legacy Bulkhead, and honestly, I really, really did not like this figure when it was first announced. I saw pictures of it and whatnot, and I really just was not a fan. I was like, this is not, like, it's obviously meant to represent Transformers Prime Bulkhead, but that is not him. It came out, and I was like, what is that? What is that? Wait. It honestly, now having the figure in hand, I gotta say, it's good. I really do like it. You know, the overall aesthetic of the vehicle mode that we have here is supposed to be like this troop transport truck, and it works very well. I mean, they've done a very good job with it. We can see all the molded in details and whatnot. We can see all the different paint applications, and I like the detailing they've done for this tarp piece. It's like, you know, got wrinkles in it and stuff to look like an actual tarp, and this whole section here has been painted exceptionally well and molded. You can see we've got an Autobot insignia right there on the front. Focus, please. Thank you. You can see some blue for the headlights and whatnot. And this whole cab section here is a clear plastic, but it honestly feels pretty sturdy. It's all clear plastic painted uh, green. It feels really good, though. I mean, it feels sturdy. It doesn't really feel like it's going to break. We got the gas tank there on the side. Very nice. Overall, it's a very nice little truck mode. Don't really have a lot to say about it. Again, I really like this figure, especially for the fact that, you know, it's meant to represent one character but pulls off another aesthetic really really nicely overall it's a really good looking truck mode um you can store the accessories in the back of the truck so bringing in our little weapons and stuff we're going to take the back tarp here and we're going to untab it from the back and then these will kind of hinge up um you're mainly supposed to do this during the transformation but you can still do it there's a peg right here or a peg hole on the mace thing and then a peg right inside there wow I literally just failed. Um, anyway, that will plug into the back of the truck, just like that. And then you can take the Gatling gun. There's a port on this and a peg on the inside of the truck. And then that just tabs in right in there. And then, again, the detailing on this is really good. If you look on the inside there, there's, like, diamond detailing on the uh, kind of the tailgate bed. So, overall, again, it's very nice. And then you just close all that up to kind of stash his accessories, and they stay in just fine so i mean overall the truck mode for this figure is really really nice i really do like the uh aesthetic of the vehicle mode and whatnot now for size comparisons here we have legacy deluxe class drag strip voyager class kingdom inferno and leader class studio series 86 grimlock because grimlock's cool and we like grimlock so 
yeah, there you have size comparisons. So setting that off to the side, again, really cool alt mode for this figure. I really do like it. Again, I didn't think I was going to like it all that much, but I mean, having it in hand, it's actually really, really awesome. Now, the transformation for this figure is actually pretty sophisticated while remaining relatively simple. So to start off with, if you haven't already, you're going to go to, to the back here and remove the accessories. We're going to start off kind of how we stored the accessories in the first place. Just pull that up and untap it. And then if you have any accessories stored in the back, just go ahead and pull them out just like so. We'll set those off to the side. Then we're going to come to the back here and untab the legs from the rest of the truck just like so. And then what we can do from there is take the gas tanks and untab them from the thighs just like so. Split the legs like that. And then we take the feet, fold them down, push them forward, and they will untab from the back of the truck just like that. We can go ahead and straighten out legs here. And then open up these panels here, take the gas tank, pull it back, flip it around, and fold it into the inside of the leg, and then just close that up. So do that for both sides just like so. And there we have the lower legs pretty much done. So pretty neat there. For the upper body here, what we're going to want to do is straighten the camera up. We're going to take these two wheels back here and fold them up, push them up just like so, and kind of get them out of the way. That. And then we're going to take the cab here, open it up, fold out the robot mode arms, straighten them out some just like so. We're going to take the arm kind of section here and untab them from each other and pull them up. And then we can go ahead and take the uh, this tab or blah, 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 this panel right here, push it in and then fold out the robot mode head just like so. And then the arms will peg in to a couple of things are trying to close up on me here. The arms will swing up and close in on the side of the chest just like so, there's a couple tabs. Make sure the robot mode head stays all the way up. And then we can take this section here and bring it forward like that. That'll allow us to close down the waist and then we'll click into place. And then this piece will snap into place just like so. And then the whole upper body will snap into place just like that. Then we can come around to the backpack here and fold the rest of that up and fold it down. And you can kind of angle these however you like them. I like to kind of fold them back just to kind of clean up the silhouette of the figure some. But that's just my personal opinion. But after all that, here we have Legacy Bulkhead in his robot mode. And I gotta say, I was not a fan of this figure when it first came out. I had nothing to do with it. I was not interested in it. And I saw it in store, and honestly, I've got to say, it looks really, really nice. The Transformers Prime aesthetic mixed with the G1 stylization gives us an interesting but unique look on the character. And truth be told, I actually really like it. Taking a look at the figure here, we can see all the different sculpted in details and whatnot. And honestly, Hasbro and Takara Tomy have pulled it off very nicely, making sure my camera's in focus. We can see everything is done incredibly well. Again, the overall bulky nature of the character definitely does resemble Bulkhead. And I mean, they've got all the other details right for the character pretty much. And it just actually feels like Bulkhead while kind of adding a new twist to the character design. So straightening out the figure so we can go ahead and take a look at the details. See what we got going on here. We can see some nice shin details and whatnot. We can see some nice silver there on the knees. And on the thighs, there's some nice molded in detail. The arms here and the fists have been molded and sculpted very nicely. The chest obviously carries over from uh, truck mode here, but works really, really nice. If it would focus, please be my guest. But we can see here all the nice little details and whatnot. And you got some silver there on the shoulders as well. And then the head sculpt for Bulkhead here actually looks really, really nice. It, it's Bulkhead. It, it, looks really good. All the silver and the blue for the eyes and whatnot, making sure my camera stays focused. You can see very nice head sculpt for the figure. Overall, I actually am really impressed with how they managed to pull this off. Now for accessories, there is a couple ways you can store the accessories on the figure, or oh, I say store, but how he can hold them. Um, his wrecking ball sort of deal actually is mounted to the figure very uniquely. First off, we're going to just split it in two and attach it to this arm right here. It will not 
pegging to this arm. At least I wasn't able to get it to. Because uh, it looks like the peg is, yeah, the peg is shifted to one side so he can use it in one specific hand. And we just peg it into his hand just like that. And then we close up the back of it to give the full kind of um, aesthetic of the wrecking ball set up. And it looks really nice. It really, really does. And then for the Gatling gun here, he can either hold it, you can plug it into the side of his arm, or it does have two little pegs sticking off the side. And there is like a little peg hole right here. And what you're supposed to do is shoulder mount it like that, but it leaves you with virtually no articulation for the thing. And it likes to fall off with no effort. So, I mean, it is an option if you do so choose. Yeah, no, forget that. Um, and then one other thing I do want to talk about is that this whole back assembly here does come off on a little peg. We can see there's a peg right here and a peg hole. And this whole thing can become like a riot shield for bulkhead, which I actually really like. There's a little peg that folds out right here. And you can attach it a ton of different ways. You can attach it onto his arm like this if you want. You know, kind of get like a full-on, you know, riot shield look for bulkhead, which I actually think is really cool and kind of suiting of the character, you know, have this big heavy set um, tank of a guy set up with a riot shield. And I actually think that looks really cool in of itself. So you got some options with the figure. And the articulation for this figure honestly caught me off guard. It's actually really, really poseable. Starting off here at the head, the head is on a ball joint, which kind of allows for like a little bit of up movement. You got some down, you, oh, you can't really get a full 360 just due to how the head's designed. It won't move past this back bracket, but the arms have some good posability. You got some outward movement. You got full 360 rotation. You got bicep swivel, well over 90 degree elbow bend. Pause the video. Pause the video. Hi, post editing Chamber Productions here. I completely forgot to mention he has a full 360 wrist swivel. My bad. Enjoy the rest of the video. Waist articulation you got a waist swivel um, that rotates full 360. You got forwards movement at the leg, you got backwards movement, which if you move that shield or just take it off all together, it can move all the way back. You got outward movement at the leg, you got thigh swivel, a good, a well over 90 degree. Um, knee bend there and then the feet actually have a ton of articulation which caught me off guard you have a really good ankle tilt and then you got forward and backward movement as well so I mean truth be told this is an extremely poseable figure so you can pull off some really cool action stances and I actually find it really enjoyable to kind of pose them because he's got a really sturdy platform due to how big his feet are so you got a really sturdy platform to kind of pose this figure around with really really nice now for the robot mode size comparisons, here we have Legacy Deluxe Class Drag Strip, Kingdom Voyager Class Inferno, and Leader Class Studio Series 86 Grimlock. Man, that's a good looking figure. But anyway, just to give you a couple size comparisons, there we have that way, say a couple, just three different size comparisons. But anyway, that aside, I really want to see, now that I have this figure in hand, I really want to see a Legacy Prime Universe Wheeljack and Cliff Jumper. If we could get Bulkhead and Wheeljack and Legacy, that'd be awesome. Uh, I really want to see how that would turn out. But it'd be awesome if we could get Wheeljack and Cliff Jumper and Legacy. I just got to say, those are like some of my top favorite characters in Transformers Prime. Transformers Prime is like my favorite Transformers show, like of all time, hands down. I love it. It's like my version of G1. I just, I think it'd be really cool to see uh, Cliff Jumper and Wheeljack in a legacy style. Um, I think it'd be really interesting. So there you have that. So overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions about Legacy Bulkhead? Overall, he's an awesome figure. I really, again, I've said it over and over and over again, but I was not expecting to like this figure. I did not like the fact that they were mixing Transformers Prime aesthetic with kind of a G1 style. But after seeing it in person and having it in hand, I've got to say... It's an awesome figure. The aesthetic works really well. It gives off the bulkhead aesthetic while giving a G1 style spin to the character. It looks really nice. The transformation honestly is quite involved but remains simplistic. And the vehicle mode that we end up with honestly is really cool looking. And they did a good job overall with this figure. Do I recommend it? Yes. If you're a Transformers Prime fan, yes, yes, yes. This is just an awesome figure in general. 
But guys, that's all from me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of Bulkhead down in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all from me, Champion Productions, signing off. Kudos to you if you've made it this far, but for one more size comparison, here he is next to Bob the Balloon Snake.